Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and I haven't made the majority of it. This is one of our new little boxes that is in the mini catalogue. This is the sweet stocking stamp paper. I couldn't think for a second. They have been die cut straight from the paper, and I've just done a tiny little bit of stamping with the sweet little stocking stamp set. But mostly dies and, yeah, a box pre-made. Now, I quite liked, what I liked about this was the depth and the shape of it. And I thought, that's, you know what, that's quite a sophisticated gift. And if I bring in the bags, they are called craft gift boxes. Um, you get 10 in a pack. And I would say Stampin' Up! has probably put these together with the purpose of you gifting edibles because they've got a little window. Um, I don't know for sure because I haven't asked the question. I'm just burnishing up all of this because this one wanted to pop itself open. So live on camera, well not live, but on camera we're seeing if burnishing makes the difference, which I suspect it will do. Um, but yeah, I kind of sort of see, you know, individually wrapped biscuits um, or cookies uh, inside there, something like that. But you know what? I just wanted to wrap my box. <laughs> Not worried about anything being on display um, or being seen. I just wanted to, yeah, make the box. So, pre glued, which is good. So, let's get the backing off all of this. Really, cat? They're playing with a project I've just made. <sighs> and they've knocked it off. Haven't photographed it yet, so I don't know if it's going to get squished or not. I really hope it isn't squished. Right, I'm. this is, you know, very much one of the style of a box that I make frequently. So I'm not teaching anything that nobody knows because you've seen me make boxes like this over and over and over again. So there we go, box made and much the same as any box in this style, these bits gape open. So we'll sort that out when I come to do the paper thing. Right, so yeah, sweet stockings. This is, the... oh for goodness sake, she's knocking everything over. This is the paper I'm going to use. I'm not gonna have the, golden retrievers and kiddies and everything on it. I wanted the neutral because I wanted my stockings to stand out, but this is six by 12 inches. And as you can see, this is the paper I used before and hacked out my little, my little stockings. So you don't need the full 12 inches. Um, oh my goodness, she's into everything. You don't need a full 12 inches, probably you could get away with 11 and a half, but you know, let's just make life easier for ourselves. Okay. Yeah, don't, you know, <laughs> why make life difficult and give yourself only a tiny glue tab? So, fold it over, wrap it, and then I'm just pinching up along there. What are you stealing, Connor? and then it will still slide on and off easily and comfortably. So this was the, I can't remember what you call it, evening evergreen woven something or other. But I'm gonna use this one, which is the cherry cobbler and gold, which is really, really rather fancy. It's very fancy in fact, because it's got this gold, thread piped through it. I'm just going to tie a square knot because I reckon this would be a great, great gift for guys, chaps, or even just to have as decor underneath your Christmas tree. So no bows needed. Thank goodness. Okay, let's pop that away. And then I'm going to choose three stockings that I want um, and you know what I actually 
I'm going to take, I'm taking that one and that one and I think maybe that one. So let's hack it off about there. About there. And get my three stockings out. Yeah, that one's going to cut off a tiny bit, but that's okay because it's hidden anyway. Right, post it notes. <laughs> lots of and is that them that's the middle one another post it note going and then the largest one oh yes look at that I can get it all in one go all three of them plate over the top and I hope nothing wibbles <laughs> nobody likes wibbly dies let's move all that out of the way and then get my little no, Fauna, don't launch yourself in. Oh, she's trying to get in the bin to get the bits that I've just put in there. So they're done. Oh, she has, she's got it. She successfully reached in and got it out of the bin, obviously. Okay, so I liked this. Christmas greetings, it's just simple. And I think I will just keep the same, but I might put it over the other side. And that is, we're going to take three quarters of an inch by how long three quarters by three and a half so I've got some whisper white here just off camera and I'm just trimming it down talk amongst yourselves oh <laughs> turn around and there's a cat in my place hello and I've just made it actually a little, tiny bit longer because I want to get the gems on. So, would you, would you like to not be there? Let's just, ooh, move you out the way. And cherry cobbler, she protested then, didn't she? I need to re-ink my cherry cobbler, I think. That's a yes, but it's okay. It's ombre. We'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> and I'm going to get some of our new embellishments. These are, what are these called? Matte decorative dots. And these are ombre. I don't know if you can see. They're dark, fading down to light, but they're also large, fading down to small. So I'm going to take a big light, a medium, medium and a dark small actually I wonder if you can see it on the green better yes you can you can see it. yes you can see it on these better than, probably because I've taken loads of those and let's get just get loads of dimensionals so I'll we'll have some on there that up a little and I'm going to start with the middle stocking and obviously I can move my ribbon around because you've just seen me do that that needs to be a tiny bit lower and then last one 
they're so cute aren't they oh i haven't noticed the ones these ones have all got toes and a heel and these ones have all got stripes i hadn't deliberately planned that at all aren't they cute though i love them i just love them i think the boxes are great i think the boxes are great if you're going to pop something inside them you don't need to do any decorating at all but you know me paper and i great friends great friends myself and paper but i love how they look i hope you like them too thank you ever so much for joining me speak to you very soon bye